Hey guys, y'all ready to have some fun? Today is the finale of the Bridgestone Invitational World Golf Championship at Firestone, and we've got two great names at the top of the leaderboard. We have Thomas Peters, and we have Zach Johnson. And there couldn't be two more different golfers, probably most noticeably just the height differential. You know, Zach's not much taller than me, but Thomas Peters is six foot five and has one of the most elegant swings in the game of golf. So let's take a quick look at his action down the line. Wow, he just really has tremendous rotation. Club exits low left. Like I said, it's elegance. So now I've put in a little line here. Uh, I always like to see how deep the hips are. A lot of these modern guys, I'm screaming this from the mountaintops. If you're struggling with early extension, take a look at yourself down the line and see how much hip depth you have to start. I'm showing you all these guys. Jason Day, Justin Rose, I could go on and on. Look at Thomas Peters. He has probably at least a half a foot, maybe even seven or eight inches of hip depth before he even begins his golf swing. But let's take a look at this as he takes it back. Stays right on that tush line. But curiously, he actually moves forward just a little bit here. Not too big of a deal, uh, but just an amazing golf swing, really, really beautiful. Now this time I want to talk about something that Mr. Peters is doing on his backswing. I want you to pay attention to his belt buckle. I like that. It looks to me like he's allowing his hips to open up a little bit more than some of the modern players. He gets that right hip depth. And uh, being able to see his uh, belt buckle, even with this iron, I think it is a good thing, definitely. So the key to his golf swing, in my opinion, is the way he uses his hips and pelvis to rotate. So as we look at this next swing that's just gorgeous, we see the balance and flow of this amazing golf swing. But I want to talk about something that I see specifically uh, through impact. Now what we're going to see here, he's got a massive wide set, six foot five, massive shoulder turn. Now watch his left leg get straight. See how he snaps it? It's kind of like what Tiger Woods described in his book when he said when he wants to hit it farther, he snaps his left leg. Now, we do know that Tiger had a few knee operations, but this impact position, for some reason to me, it looks a little bunched up. He has a beautiful golf swing. We're being really hypercritical here. But it looks interesting to me, but it doesn't, he still has this lovely full release, and there's no jerkiness, so, you know, maybe I'm just seeing things, but it's, it's the funky looking kind of K that he makes with his legs as, uh, you know, as he snaps that left leg straight, which is, you know, probably continuing to push that left hip around, you know, keep him turning, which he does so beautifully. Now, if we take an even closer look at his lower body, Mr. Hogan famously said, you know, the lower body is where the golf swing happens. Like, that's what he paid attention to more than anything else. And so, if we look at his lower body here, I've put up a line along the left side of his uh, hip and thigh, just inside his, his left heel. But this is totally amazing. Here we see the familiar, balanced, wide turn. He turns deep into that right leg that I like so much. So flexible. I mean, if you notice his shoulder turn up here, 
we're going to see that he's turning those shoulders a lot more than 90 degrees. But notice his left hip and left thigh. This is amazing to me. He gets set. And look at this turn in relation to the line. He has almost no lateral move in his swing. It's all rotation. This is a big part of the modern game that uh, is very amazing. Man, he's just turning and turning, and then that club gets whipped through the bottom. And it looks like he has a little hold-off release there, like he may be hitting a fade. And then he gets a little caddy dip, a little bend in that left knee to help with his balance. Now this is just, to me, the most remarkable thing. I'm going to watch it one more time with you, and then I'm going to show you my main man, Mr. Hogan. Turns off the ball nicely, and here we go. Wow, what a huge move left. Well, yeah, he stays behind. Well, he keeps his head really behind the ball, which is crucial for him to be able to be consistent. Now, I just want to show you, this is my favorite swing of all time. Big surprise, my main man, Ben Hogan. Look at that. Look at how far he has moved off of his line. His hip is inside the A. The knees are working along the crossbar on this letter A. The knees and hips, that's where it's at. Those knees move a massive amount. It gets those hips out in front. Gets them in this lovely bow position through impact. I don't think there's a better impact position than Mr. Hogan. You want to talk about a free release. I'll tell you, Thomas Peters looks really good, but I don't think anybody had a smoother looking follow through than Ben Hogan. Ben Hogan is, is the greatest. But I wish Thomas Peters the best. You have the most elegant swing in the game right now. And uh, I hope you do well at the Bridgestone Invitational today. Best of luck. I hope you hit them long and straight, Mr. Peters, and I hope all you guys hit them long and straight, too. What do you think was the secret? Well, there are many. He caddied for my dad. That was the beginning of their relationship. Why he actually decided at that point in time to share what he told me, I, I have no idea. And he was uh, a very intimidating man.